and sharing her story. You heard from Bruce Jenner tonight, a local woman now sharing what it's like to be transgender here in Hawaii. And then in our second half hour tonight, living life as a transgender woman in the islands, a local woman sharing her perspective. Join us. Well, she was born a woman, now lives, born a man rather, lives as a woman, a local transgender woman sharing her story with KITV4, what she wants others to know. Earlier tonight, we aired a 2020 special that featured Bruce Jenner, considered to be one of America's best athletes, telling the world he is now a woman. So what's life like for transgender people here in the islands? Well, for a place that's known to be diverse, Hawaii can still be a tough place to live for a group that's still looking to be understood. And we want to warn you tonight that some of the language and part of our conversation may not be suitable for some audiences. Kelvin, so how was the AIDS walk? For Madeline Ashton, life has always been different. Early on, she knew a part of her life had to be a secret. I never shared that with anyone because, especially because you come from Waianae. Waianae is very, um, <laughs> and they're very violent, so, you know. Well, hello, my daddy. I, hello. I have to she works at the Life Foundation, which provides services for people who are HIV positive. Aloha, this is Maddie. How can I help you? She's one of seven transgender women who oh. work here. She's comfortable in her own skin. 21 years ago, she underwent sex reassignment surgery knowing what she wanted to be. When you're going out into the community, it's like you hear all these, you know, all these people talking or, you know, guys saying, oh, that's a mahu, that's a fag, or da-da-da. But for me, it's like I didn't let that bother me. I didn't let that, you know, I didn't let that stop me from doing what I needed to do. While Ashton has understood her identity for some time, she realizes it's a lifelong struggle for others like Bruce Jenner, who kept a secret for most of his life. We're not the same person, you know, we're pretty much different people. I really do hope that, you know, she finds um, peace within herself and hopefully her family comes around because it's not easy for her and, I, I, and it's, a, it's a huge sacrifice. It wasn't until recently during the 2013 legislative session when lawmakers passed the same-sex marriage bill that Ashton saw Hawaii as a different place than she thought it was. I was taken back and I was, you know, at first I cried. I cried because I didn't understand. I didn't understand how people can be so, so cruel and how they can be so mean. It was harder for me to see relatives or friends on the opposing side that, you know, I've watched some of their kids. I've, you know, I've done stuff with them or I've helped them with stuff and then to see them on the opposing side, it was like a, it was like a stab in, in my heart. From bitterness to resentment, she has come to accept that some people may never accept her. All that matters, she says, is that she's living her truth. Everybody just wants to be accepted. Everyone wants to live their life. And whether you come out at 21 or 60, however old um, she is, it's, it's, it's really all up to that person. And, you know, it's about just finding that right support. And that's the common thread between Bruce Jenner and Maddie tonight. Mm. Everyone just asking for understanding. Yeah, and one thing that she said to me during our conversation that I thought was very poignant was that she said, it's not who you are. It's not whether you're straight or gay or transgender. It's about what you do in your community uh, that you should be judged upon. Yeah, so, wow. I thought that was well said.